welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Russia. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Nevada, this is the fight capital of the world. With respect to anywhere else you want to go, if I'm a fighter, if I'm an athlete in combat sports, this is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event.
There's the leg kick, that one checked by McGregor. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jungle. Gregor's punch to the body, that one is blocked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Oh, big punch land. Misses again with a right punch. Punch is blocked. Right hand upstairs. Nice body kick. Slips. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big spot. Oh, nice. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big fall for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just misses there with the left. Oh, rips the body shot there. And that one certainly found the target. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Lands the right hand. Throwing that jab, no good. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Another body kick land. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch right down the pipe. It's unreal. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, second round is getting right. underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent. That's all you, see. you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the seat right now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Moving to his left now. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow up. What? Follow up. A beautiful strike like that knee with. You see very short. The ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Both fighters get up now, so 40 total strikes have now landed for Conor. 
Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Conor McGregor. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, strong hook to the head there by McGregor. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Under a minute to go. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, McGregor shot there is blocked. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, most fighters can't keep up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. That is a stiff jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Oh, head kick blocked by McGregor. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that strike. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. There instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. Right punches there. Conor McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Oh! Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, brighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Side leg kick. Good body work with that hook by Connor. It's such a oh! fast leg kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ten seconds to go. 
single collar tie now. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, he hasn't really showed it. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in.